Jeez. Megs has more looks than... someone who has a lot of looks. What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers The Last Night Mission to Cybertron Deluxe Class Megatron. So here we are, and there he is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Yes, this is a Toys R Us exclusive, only at Toys R Us. His name is Megatron. Look, it's from a movie, Mission to Cybertron. On this side of the box, we have Megatron and Optimus locked in. There he is. There's Optimus and Megatron locked in battle. He is a deluxe class, a classe de luxe, a classe de lujo, and a classe deluxe. So that's classe indeed. On this side of the box, we just have some Cybertronian writing, which you can decipher with deciphering things. On the top, you have Optimus Megatron again. On the bottom, words and things. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots, and you have a very brief bio. He is a ruthless oppressor that he is. Warning! Please don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. That's basically it for the packaging. So moving right along, here we have little deluxe Megatron. Now, when I bought Skeletron, uh, Toys R Us was having a buy one, get one 50% off sale on their Transformers, so I figured, oh, I'll pick up Megs too. Why not? I like this mold, so I figured, okay, sure, I'll go for it. And as you can see, it is just a, uh, it's a recolor, slight remold of the Stealth Bomber Megatron that came out in the Generations line a couple years ago from his early IDW design. And, uh, yeah, so... Here he is in his stealth bomber mode. You can see he is done in the uh, the the last night Megatron color scheme with that dark gray and the spicy mustard. And you got some purple here for the cockpit, and you can see that this color doesn't quite match this color because this is transparent plastic that was painted over. And usually, when you have painted plastic versus the actual plastic color, it's usually usually doesn't match up, and yeah, it doesn't quite match up, but oh uh, well, it is what it is, but still, it's a nice mold, got some nice details going on, there's the back side, right there, or the underside, rather, and it's got the little flip-down landing gear, done in purple, and yeah, and that's pretty much all it does in this mode, and you can just whoosh, and whoosh, and whoosh, and you can do all kinds of whooshing, all kinds of whooshing if you want to, very whooshable. So there you have that, and here he is with the original version of the mold. Just so you can see how they look together. You can see the exact same alt mode, just different colors. So there you have that, and here he is with the Voyager last night Megatron. Just so you can see, right, you know, they tried to replicate the, uh, the color scheme here of Megs from the last night. There you go. So let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So, first thing you want to do is you want to take uh, these sections of the wings and just pull them down to untab them. Put them off to the side. What? Parts for me? Yes, parts for me. Yes, parts for me. Just put those off to the side. And now we have that chunk right here. So, flip up the landing gear. And we're going to come right here to these side sections here and just untab that, untab all this, and just kind of bring that up and get that out of the way. Untab that, bring that up. Now you're going to come here and you're going to untab these sections right in here. Then you just got to take the leg, rotate it down at the hip, and then fold the leg down, which also bring up that little kneecap piece. Rotate the leg at the thigh swivel so it's facing forward. Bring up the foot. Flip out the heel, they have a leg, all the done, second fast, same as the fast, bring down, bring down, rotate, up, back, yay, there you go. And then you take this whole assembly right here, just bring that down on that hinge, and then we will work on the upper body. So now, you come up here, and you just untab the suction, and just bring that back like that, on tab, bring that back, 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 I say, I say, I say, I say, come back here, yeah, I say, make me go all foghorn leghorn on you, I'll do it, but, anyway, so once you do that, you just take this whole assembly, and you just bring that down, and you take this section here, bring that down, and that'll tab in right over these two tabs, right there, so you just line that up, and tab that in, 
like that. And once you've got that done, you take these sections here, they're on a double hinge, and you bring them up. Unless they get caught underneath things, there we go. So you just bring that up on that hinge, bring that in, and that will just hook in right there, like that. And then you can just bring the arm down, rotate at the bicep swivel, flip out his hand. You can flip out this panel here if you want. And there you go. Same thing on the other side, just open that up, bring that in, hook that in, bring the arm down, rotate, flip out the hand, bring out this panel right here, which I mind that one's a little stiff, there we go. And if you want to, these panels on the legs can come out a bit to kind of bulk out his legs a bit. And there you have Megs in his robot mode and of course we need the cherry on top here he needs his cannon and what you do with these pieces here is you just take the section pull that back which will extend that like that and boop, extend and then you just ah, you just drop them like a dum-dum <laughs> like a butter finger dum-dum anyway and you just peg them together bring down that peg and that will peg right into his arm like that. And now he has his cannon. And now the look is complete. And there you go. And again, I like this mold. I know some people hated on this mold back in the day because when you turn him around, there's yeah, there's not a whole lot going on back here. He's pretty hollow from the back, but I never cared. It's the back. I don't look at the back. I don't display my toys facing the wall, so I don't care what the back looks like. From the front, he looks awesome. It's a very nice figure, in my personal opinion. So let's take a look at the new head sculpt. And he does have a very last night Megatron head sculpt. And it is actually done very nicely. It's actually a pretty cool head sculpt. It's got the red eyes going on in there. And yeah, I actually dig this new head sculpt. I think it looks quite, quite nice. And the Septicon symbol right there on his chest. And he's got some more of that spicy mustard color throughout his body. Got the purple fist there, purple crotch. And some more of that spicy mustard goodness. <laughs> and again, the back is pretty, pretty hollow, but... And never bothered me. Now, articulation-wise, the head is on a ball joint. You got a lot of range of movement there. You'll be like, I'm the Megs. What you gonna do about it, boy? What you gonna do? You know. And, of course, you have full rotation. The shoulders are on a ball joint. You have some forward and backward movement. You can do a full 360. You can go in and out. You can also use that transformation joint right there as well. Kind of have those shoulders shift up and downward as you wish. You do have a bicep swivel. Slightly under 90 degrees of bend out to the knee, nothing at the wrist except for that transformation hinge, if that does anything for you, nothing at the waist due to transformation. Hips are on a ball joint, he can do the high kicks, he can pretty much kick himself in the, he can kick himself in the back of the head pretty much. <laughs> Outward movements, pretty much the full splits, you do have a swivel above the knee, nice deep knee bend due to transformation, and feet can move up and move down, uh, no ankle tilt. Oh, there you go. Get him situated here. There you have that. So now for comparison. Here he is with the original version of the mold. Just so you can see. The same toy. The only difference is just color and the head sculpt. So, hey, which one do you like better? I don't know. I don't know. I like them both. I think they both work for me. I love the head sculpt. I think the head sculpt is really good on this figure. Um, but yeah, I just like the mold in general, so really, I like them both. So, there you have that. And here he is with the Voyager Last Night Megatron. So you can see how they were, you know, replicating the, uh, the color scheme here. Of course, this guy has purple on him, and this one doesn't. But you can see they were going for a similar color scheme there. And I wonder if you could. You probably can. I don't see why not. Can he hold that? Hey, you can give him that sword if you want to. There you go. You can do that. It's a thing. It's a thing you can do. Hey, why not? Dare I say why not? So There you have that. And that's it for Deluxe Megs. You know, it's just... It's a simple, you know, recolor, remold of the head, but still, I mean, it's a mold that I like, so, eh, I have no problem buying it again, and hey, I didn't pay full price for it, I got it 50% off, so, hey, even better, so, there you have that. Now, as I said earlier, this is a Toys R Us exclusive, so you can go to your local Toys R Us. If you're interested in this figure, I'm going to assume that ToysRUs.com also has these figures in stock as well, so you can check them out.
And for other Transformers movie toys, you can check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Transformers movie toys playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M-Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say, so there is the Transformers The Last Night Mission to Cybertron Deluxe Class Megatron, and this is Emgo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. What? Oh, it's nothing. Nothing. Shorty? <laughs> Yeah, this shorty could still rip you in half. Yeah, whatever you say, Pipsqueak. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs>